Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I do my eyebrows and also how I apply my false eyelashes. I asked in my last tutorial what you guys would like to see next and I got a lot of replies saying eyebrow tutorial and how to apply false lashes. And I do think those are super important things when it comes to makeup. And those are one of my favorite things to do when it comes to makeup. So I am super excited to show you guys how I fill in my eyebrows every day and also how I put on false lashes. And I hope this is helpful to some of you that are looking for a tutorial like this. So let's just go ahead and get on into it. I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to start out with the eyebrows first. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is brush out the brow hairs and I'm just combing these out. They are a little bit not super even so I just like to brush them out so that they're in the place that I would like them to be before I fill them in. Depending on where you want to brush them is kind of like how you would like your brows to look. I like to brush mine up and out so that they look a little bit fuller. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that to both of the brows. I like to brush the hairs towards the front upwards because I like to give it a more like fuller look towards the front. And I am going to be filling quite a bit in the front. And for this, I'm using an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush. And this is the number 12 brush. I have two of these because I tend to lose them a lot, but they are also one of my favorite eyebrow brushes. I suggest that if you're gonna get one, any angled brush and spoolie will do, but I would suggest getting this one just because it has both on either side and you don't need to use two different brushes. So to fill in my eyebrows, I like to use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Medium Brown. And I like to use medium brown because it's more of a cooler tone brown and the dark brown, I also have that one. It has a little bit more red in it and I just like my eyebrows to look a little bit on the cooler side. I know that most people like to use the um, brow duos, the powder, and I think that either or works just fine, but since I do have quite a bit of brow hair, this one really works good and really manipulates my brows to look more natural, but I do tend to use the brow powder as well. So whichever one will work, um, I fill them in the same exact way, doesn't matter which one I use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit on the brush. I just dipped it in like halfway and I kind of wiped it off. Sometimes I like to take it into the jar and just wipe off the excess into the pot. And then I just take whatever is on the brush and I start right in the middle of my brow. I like to go towards the top and start mapping out how I want that arch to look. I like my eyebrows to be very arched. I go along the natural arch and bring it upward. And bring it straight down. Just like that. And as you can tell, this one is a lot more arched than my other brow. Naturally, this brow is a lot more arched than this one, but brows are sisters, not twins. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep filling in that arch. Okay, so now I'm getting towards the front. And what I like to do is I like to connect this part to the tip. And I'm just lightly doing that. I haven't dipped my brush back into the pomade. I'm just doing that with whatever is on my brush. And as you can tell, I'm starting to square it off. I really like the way threaded eyebrows look. It's very boxy and square, but not super boxy. So what I'm going to do is keep going towards the front and then flick upward. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to comb up and out, take some of the pomade onto the brush, just a little bit, and then start towards the arch and kind of draw that arch on top. And then you just want to bring it straight down. Okay, and as you can see, that one is almost done. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the front like I did before. I'm just taking a little more product onto the brush, 
drawing downward and then flicking upward. The cool thing about flicking upward is it actually makes it look like you have actual brow hairs. It doesn't look like streaks if you were to like draw them on like that. Just flicking up just fills it in really nicely and really evenly so it doesn't look like you have streaks. So next I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil and this is like a vanilla shade, kind of like concealer. I'm just going to go right underneath the brows right here. And along here on the sides, this is really going to clean up the brows. And then I'm just going to take my ring finger and just going to tap that out. Because you don't want to smear this around too much. And as you can tell, they kind of have that threaded effect when you do that. They look very um, symmetrical and they look more even when you apply a concealer to clean them up. And then I'm pretty much done there. The only thing I'm going to do now is apply my Brow Stylist Plumper. And this is by L'Oreal. I do have Anastasia um, Brow Gel, but this one to me is just as good. And this is in medium to dark. So I'm just going to take the wand and then I'm just going to be flicking upward towards the front and then bringing it around, just kind of like how I fill them in. I'm just going with the way my hair grows naturally with my brows. And I definitely think that this step is really important because it does make your hair stand out more. It doesn't make them look like they're drawn on. And I don't know, I just feel like it really plumps them up. And I personally really like thick brows. I know not a lot of people do, but I really like them. I just think they complement my makeup and I don't know, they're just really fun to do and who doesn't like having super thick brows. So that's just what I like to do. And that's about it for the brow portion of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this part and now I'm gonna move on to the false lashes and I'm going to zoom in further so you can see how I apply those. Okay, so now for the lash portion of the video, I'm gonna be using the Ardell Glamour Lashes. And I really like these. You can purchase these at CVS or Walgreens. These are the ones that I tend to wear a lot. And a lot of people really love these lashes. So I'm just gonna take them out and I'm gonna pull them off of the little white plastic case that they're in. And you can use tweezers for this, which I will show you how to do. I'm just gonna take them like this onto the tweezers, like so. And I have some lash glue here. This is the Duo Glue and this is like and the little brush formula, I'm gonna take the brush out and I'm just going to line along that lash line of it. I'm not gonna put a super thick layer. I'm just gonna go ahead and line it out. It's okay if you get some of it on the lash. It's not gonna dry white. Um, it's gonna dry clear. So make sure that you put extra on the ends and on the inner corner because that is where they tend to fall off a lot on people. And I'm guilty of that. Um, I carry lash glue in my purse because it happens a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Now you could go like this, you could blow on it, or you could just you know wait until you start seeing it get tacky. It takes about three minutes, maybe two, it just kind of depends. And you don't wanna go ahead and just put these on right now because they're gonna be moving all around on your eyes. You wanna wait a few seconds for them to get super tacky. You could actually touch it and feel that it has a tacky texture. And that's when you're gonna go ahead and apply them. I apply lashes with my fingers. I just feel like it's easier for me. But when I first started out, I always used the tweezers. This really, really helped me. Just make sure that your tweezers are nice and clean and that they don't have any extra lash glue on them because they will stick to the lashes and it just, it won't work out. And yeah, so I've had that happen before. I've actually like put them on and then it like rips it off. And yeah, it's just a reverse effect if you don't make sure that your tweezers don't have any glue at all on them. Okay, so now that it's tacky, I'm just gonna take these and I'm going from the top and I'm just gonna set these down onto the lashes. I like to just pull like that. And now that they're sitting on, I just take my fingers and I just pull and then I just place them down. And then same thing with the front. I just kind of wiggle them however I would like them 
to go. And once they're on and they're sticky, they're not gonna go anywhere. You can just take your fingers and squeeze down. And you could feel the tacky texture of the glue. That means that it was perfectly timed out. You could take your tweezers sideways like this and just squeeze down on the lashes. And this really secures them into place and they're not going to go anywhere. So then you could just wait a few seconds and then go ahead and squeeze down again on them. The cool thing about fake lashes is sometimes I go overboard with my eyeliner and it doesn't really matter because in the end when I squeeze these down, they kind of suck in the eyeliner and it makes it look all super even. So I don't know if it's just me that experiences that, but <laughs> I find it to be very helpful when I go crazy with my eyeliner. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing for the other eye. Just taking this off of the, then I'm just gonna line this out with the glue exactly like I did before, just line it out. You're just gonna wait for this to get tacky again. You wanna make sure that when you're ready to put it on, it's a little bit more clear than what it looks like right now. It's gonna look a little bit iridescent colored at first, and then it's gonna start getting super clear, and that's exactly when you put this on. I really suggest getting the brush glue because it's just a lot easier to apply than the squeezy tube. I know the brush glue didn't come out uh, too long ago. I've been putting on fake eyelashes since I've been 12 years old. I know, it's crazy, but I used to put them on in middle school and I used to use the little tube glue and um, it was really hard to use. So I appreciate the new strip lash glue. It's awesome. So like I did before, I just kind of came from the top and just brought them down. It maybe would be easier for you to look up so you could see where you're placing them. Now, what you're just gonna do is just take your fingers and just drag the ends where you want them to go and the front where you want them to go. Depending on how big your eyes are, how small, you might have to cut lashes, but that shouldn't matter. Just always cut them from the end, not the front, because the front is gonna have less lashes, the end's gonna have more. You're gonna wanna cut the end pieces and not the front. So what you're gonna do is just go like this and press down. And as you can see, they're on securely. I'm just gonna go back in with my tweezers and squeeze, squeeze down on those. Make sure that they are secured nice and tight. Honestly, you guys, once you get the hang of putting on fake eyelashes, you will never stop and you will absolutely love wearing them every single day. And I know it sounds crazy, but they just open up your eyes so, 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 so much. Liquid liner. You can use a pen, you could use a gel, anything really works. I'm just gonna use a pen for this. This is the Kat Von D liner. I'm gonna go back over the lash line and as you can see, you can kind of see where the lashes are. I'm just gonna go trace over where my eyeliner was because I don't want that strip to be showing and I don't want it to mess up my eyeliner. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of my L'Oreal Telescopic and apply it to the bottom area of the lashes to blend in my lashes to these lashes. Sometimes your lashes are gonna look a little bit lighter than the fake lashes and you'll be able to see them. How you can prevent that from happening is just going ahead and applying some of that mascara right to the base of the fake lashes and kind of if you wanna add some more volume, you can just pull it up. I don't like to put too much mascara on my fake lashes, but I will put it on the ends sometimes. All right, guys, that is it for this eyebrow tutorial and fake lash tutorial. I hope that you learned something new today and I hope that I helped you out when it came to your eyebrows or your fake lashes. I know everybody's different. Some people like thinner brows, some people like thicker. I just wanted to show you guys how I fill in mine on a daily basis and 
how I apply my false lashes, which are something that I absolutely love and you see them in many tutorials, but I never get in depth and explain to you how I apply them. I know it can be super tricky at first, but just have patience, practice, practice on yourself, practice on friends, and eventually you'll get it and you'll love it and you can try all different kinds of lashes and you will not stop buying lashes because they're super addicting because you want to try all the styles. So anyways, thank you so much for watching the tutorial. If you have any more ideas, please comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching.